Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for the next video. Um, so, let's back up to last week a little bit. Last week I told you how I was going to make this sign right here. And you can see I have it onto the building and that's how it's going to look. But you may say, well, that looks a little different than it did last week. And uh, you'd be right. Um, I'm going to be, this is um, full disclosure here. Um, I did make the sign last week, and the original one is right here. And this is the one that I did the yellow foil, the, the yellow uh, transparent papers on, you know, three layers of that, tracing paper on top of that, and it all looked great. And it was working, and if you remember right, the, uh, the B had a blanked out spot here that wasn't lighting up. Well, in a day or two after that, this whole sign stopped working. Um, it, it started in, in bits where um, a couple of the first letters stopped working and then I lost these last two letters and it, it just wasn't working out and things were going bad with it. So we, uh, I, I trashed that sign. We threw it in the garbage or get rid of it. And I built a new one. I cut out a brand new one and that would be this one. Now, this sign here, you'll notice it looks different than the other. I didn't do all of the yellow uh, uh, transparent papers over it. All I did was I took regular printer paper and I printed my, my template on it and I did a reverse image. Since printers don't print white, okay, so I made the sign so that the letters were white but the background of the sign was a darker color so that gave me the white letters and I just taped that right to the face of this and cut it out and then I'm left with the white letters on top where it doesn't show pink like we were looking at last week this is how it's supposed to be okay and we don't have that anymore so I built that sign and this isn't even the original one there um, it was working fine for a couple of days and then these first three letters here just randomly shut off. They, they wouldn't work anymore so all they had was B-E-E-S. <sighs> so talk about aggravation. Um, so I then went online and I started looking up not so much from Miller Engineering but just EL lighting in general and what I found out was if you if you you're cutting this sheet after you cut it out you need to seal it okay and they tell you to use super glue or whatever along the edges well I've got a lot of edges here all right so before I go into how I fix that um, what I did I had only the working from the B over working this HIG stopped working as a matter of fact I have that right here so what I did at that point is I cut off right at the edge of the G here and that's this. So these letters no longer work and they, they weren't working. So then I cut out a new HIG and I just tacked it onto the end here. Now the whole thing works but what that does for me is now I have to have two power points on here. Okay because this one is powered separately from this one. I can't run just one um, and I'm guessing that's why these letters stopped working it makes the phosphor that's inside of here a lot more fragile and it, it allows things to go wrong the further away from this contact point you get so I added on the extra G and I, and I did this and then on the back side is I ran what I did was I ran wires from the contacts here over to this one and then I have the, the two power leads that come off of this okay so then now it's working so it was working then so what I needed to do at that point oh and I just broke the wire here the red wire but that's okay I can solder that back on so in order to fix the edges of all of this what I did was I started looking around in the house to see what I had and, and it just struck me that I have um, sheets of laminating plastic you do by hand it doesn't go into a machine it's just random sheets it's like s sticker paper but it's clear laminating it's it's pretty heavy and I took that and I cut strips and I put 
set this down on the, on the laminating like this, I pressed it all in there good, and then I took another sheet and laminated right over the top, and then I trimmed it somewhat close all the way around. So now this is sealed all the way around, and it still works. So that's where I am with this. This is good. I have to re-solder this. I'll do this in a few minutes. And uh, let me show you where else we are. So if you take and you look down, I'm hoping this shows, I drilled two more holes. If you remember, we have the lights that go underneath here, which light up the underside of our canopy here. I took electrical tape and I covered up all those connections so that I don't have to worry about shorts going on in there. And then I connected these and I ran the two wires to power. I drilled two more holes down here and I ran them out and they come out the back side over here. Okay. And that comes over to this guy. And this is our transformer that we talked about last week. And if anybody was wondering about the buzzing that goes on uh, with these EL lights, um, unfortunately, it's a side effect of all EL lighting does this. And it has to do with the transformer and the fact that the EL lights use phosphor and, and AC electricity. So what, what happens is your, your battery pack, which would be on the end here, you can see I've cut that off already because we're not going to use a battery pack in here. Um, the battery pack puts out its three volts here and the three volts goes into the transformer and the transformer changes it into AC current. Okay, And this transformer in reaction with the phosphor inside the EL lighting creates that buzzing sound. So no matter what you do, it has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, this is a Miller Engineering pack, it, it has nothing to do with anything other than that's just the nature of electroluminescent lighting, okay? Just so you all know, and then the other thing I wanted to say was the buzzing you hear on the camera from last week, uh, the buzzing that you hear is not nearly as loud, it's, it's actually very quiet. Uh, unfortunately, my camera microphone uh, doesn't like those lights, and the buzzing is just huge. Um, later on I'll, I'll show you on my other camera because I'm running two here. On my second camera I'll run the audio from my second camera so you'll be able to hear what it more of what it sounds like. The second camera isn't quite as sensitive and it doesn't pick up the buzzing but just so you know it's not really that loud. So um, all that being said you can see the wires come out the back here right here they come right from come in right above the, the, the um, window display here. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is I have some uh, mounting tape, clear mounting tape. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mount this right here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera only because I have to re-solder the wire to the back of the sign. And then um, to make this run off of 12, because I need this to work off of 12 volt, okay? Because everything on here works off 12 volts. My layout, all my accessories are powered off of a 12 volt power. So I need to be able to hook this directly to 12 volts. So what I did was I cut off the battery pack and the switch. I cut that out. So you have ground wire and a positive wire. So I clip those. That leaves me these two wires right here. So all I needed to do at that point is I have a 100 ohm resistor right here. And when I hook this to this to power, to 12 volt power, the sign works absolutely perfectly and we have no troubles. So what I'm gonna end up doing is adding this resistor in line probably up here and then have the, the connection out here and then these two leads will connect into these power sources right here. So everything will be self-contained within the building. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much where we're at. So it's been a whole week of making new signs. This is the third uh, generation of signs. So it's been extremely annoying and irritating this week. Um, just so you know. So let, let me get this uh, wire that shouldn't have come undone. Um, but that's because I'm bending it all over the place. Um, and then we'll, I'll show you how I'm going to mount the sign into the front of this front half of this building. And uh, 
I have the roof panel and everything. So let me get this resoldered and we'll move into that. Okay, so I, I've, I've soldered it back on and I just wanted to give you a look as to how this looks. We'll turn it this way. You turn off a light or two. Yeah, we will put it like that. And then we'll turn this back on. There. Now you can see the light, how it's going to look on the front of the building. It's going to go just like that. All right. And now without the yellow uh, covering on here, the light is a little more blue than it was originally. I, at this point, I really don't care. I just want to be done with this sign. It's been a huge pile of aggravation. Um, let me turn it off. Okay. So it does work and we're good. So now it's the time we need to get into now is actually getting this thing mounted so it's not floating around any longer. Um, I want it solidly mounted into place. So let me turn this off and let's unhook the power. Get everything out of the way. All these wires out of the way. Okay. So what I have, I already told you, I um, covered all the, the, the connections inside of here, inside of here with a piece of electrical tape so that I can't short anything out. <clears throat> okay. So what I made was a small roof section here and I primed it gray. Okay. And this is the height I'm going to raise up the, 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 the roof inside of there, inside of here, to cover up our wiring. And this I know fits already. You can see I did three sides. I needed to leave this open so that when this goes in here, the wires can pass through here and go out of the building into the other side. Um, quick spray of gray. There's really no lighting showing through here, so I don't have to get too crazy with paints. It, this is more for the finished look. Um, I'm going to do that roof same as I did this roof here. Um, so I'm just going to super glue this thing into place and I'm going to put a couple of dabs of uh, CA on the connections in this uh, sign here to hold it into place right here like this. I'm just going to put a little bit in there just, just a little couple dabs to hold it right where I want it and then I'm going to CA this roof section down in there so let's get some CA together and we'll get this thing glued in and I'm not using a lot by any means just just enough to hold it in place um, okay so now we have the sign in place and that's going to go like that. Now we want to put the roof down. So there we go. So now the roof is in place and you can see that roof right down in there like that. Um, before I do the uh, this gravel on top of that roof I'm going to go back with a little bit of caulk and a, and a small spreader and I'm going to fill in the little gaps in here so I don't get all sand down inside of there. So what I want to do is I want to fill in these small gaps here, down the side here, a little bit in the front right here, you know, I want to, I want to cover all those up because that is sand from this and then I have a little bit of the, the, the liquid stain that I was using to do this. I have to drip a little bit down in there and I don't want water getting into the liquid to get into my electronics underneath here. So that's going to go like that and then that's mounted into place. Now on the back side we can flip this over and I kind of like to have this stay up like that. Now for the back side to mount we're going to unplug this so we can get this out of the way. These are the wires that come out from the light itself. So these need to hook into this transformer. And this transformer, so what we have here is we have two wires here for power. And then we have these two wires which hook up to the light itself. 
So these two wires and these two wires go together. Okay, so I'm going to need to shorten these a lot. All right, so now we have our resistor and the power lines, and our other two lines are connected. Now, before I do the shrink tubing on here, I just want to make sure that everything works. So we have our resistor here. So let's plug into power. One. And two. And then I can hear it buzzing, so I know we're working. So we can turn this. Let's see. If I turn this one down, there you go. So you can see we're still working. Okay, so we're good. So now it's time to just finish up with the shrink tubing and then get this thing all buttoned up. And there we go. So now we have this all powered up. Okay, everything is working. And then we're going to mount this piece into place now. And to do that, I have some mounting tape. It's um, Gorilla Mounting Tape, it's called, from Gorilla Glue. This stuff says it'll hold up to 15 pounds. I've been using this around the house. It's okay, I kinda like it. It's not too thick, and it does a fairly good job. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, and I'm just gonna cut a square. That'll go like that. And then I'm gonna take these couple of wires here. I'm just gonna tuck them right above here. We don't want anything showing where it shouldn't be showing. Take that right there. And then we have these two wires to deal with right here. I have to be careful because <clears throat> we have some pretty small wires in there too. So these two will come down here. Okay. So now these just need to get twisted up and just stuck in. Probably something like that. Maybe a small piece of tape. I don't know. I'll, I'll run something on that later. I'm just going to run a little piece of tape over that. Now we need to get these two wires hooked into our full 12 volt power. Okay, so <clears throat> the sign's all attached. You, you know, we did a little bit of CA here. I finished the roof in here. You can kind of see. I don't know how well you can see it, but there it is. The, the roof in the behind. I did it the same as the top up here. So that's all done. Now it's time to build, I want to build the framework that goes behind this because this does lean back a little bit. I want this forward more on one end. Um, we have the wiring all set up, transformers right here. Everything's wired in. We have these two wires. So now we can build the framework that goes behind here. So let me get this stuff out of the way. And I'm not going to get real fancy with it. Just something real quick and easy. I'm, I'm not getting crazy. Um, I'm going to take out my gluing glass here. And what I have is I cut some styrene strip. These are 60,000 square stock. I have two pieces. And what I did was I measured these reach from letter to letter like this. So they'll sit totally behind it. Okay. And then I, met, I, I figured out the height that I want these um, this framework to be at, and that's going to be these little guys here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to build this quick framework and get this thing done.
So that'll stay like that. And now we're gonna, I gotta let this sit. And this all has to re-harden. Um, so we'll come back when this is all hardened and I'm ready to scrape this off. All right, so I have my piece here. It's, it's dried and I actually went and painted it. I did a, 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 a coat of um, dark gray primer. I'm just gonna do a quick round of weathering on this. I'm gonna add some colors to it and then we're gonna glue it into place. Just wanna add a little flavor to it, right? So this is what we've got. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It just gives that look of a little bit of rusted something. It's been there for a while. All right, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Now, um, we wanna take this and glue it to the back of the sign. So to do that, we're gonna use this, this turbo tacky glue. I have these small little clips here. Um, I'm going to use a couple of these on there. And we're going to clip this into place like that. And then we're just going to let that dry. So that'll stay like that for the time being. Um, when this is dried, we'll come back and we'll add the remaining legs to the back side of this. We've got legs that have to come down from the sign here and connect to the bottom base right in here. They're going to run across. So when this dries we'll come back and we'll look at that. All right so we're all dried here now. Everything is, is set and, and we're ready to add the back legs to this. Now the, 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 the thing is we need to get this out. We need to tip this forward just a little bit and we're going to do that with some more styrene strip. I'm going to take these pieces here and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut one end at an angle like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to mark this with my pencil. I'm going to bring this up here and I'm going to cut this one the same way. I'm going to cut this at an angle like this. And then this will fit right in behind here and we'll pull it at a, at a nice little tight angle and I'm going to glue these in with CA. I'm not going to use any of the other stuff. So this will go in the back like this and that will glue right in there just like that. Like that. And that will pull that sign right up straight and then I'll run maybe three of these down the sign here. And that's going to be it. So let me get these in and we'll, uh, we'll take a final look at it. Off camera, I went and I added the, the supports in the back. And this is what we end up with. So they kind of look like that. And I think they look pretty good. Um, I, I'm, I, okay. I like it. I like it a lot, and I think we're gonna go with it. Um, I did double check it to make sure that it's still working, and I can show you that. If we turn that one down and this one, and then we kick on power, 
and you can see we're all still working. So there it is. It is done and complete. Um, so that's going to be it for this week. Um, there you go. So I, I think that's going to be it for this week. Um, I got nothing else. Um, if you're just joining me for the first time, uh, by all means, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you along. Until next time, happy modeling.